when we get that smart contracts, that's gonna be the, the good one, man. Well, anyways, let's take a look at Global Star. So it says over here that yesterday was a, there was an article. Here we go, guys. Follow me. Follow, follow me and Shuey, and let's find out what's happening with Global Star. Watch Global Star on report iPhone 13 may use satellite connectivity. Interesting. Let's see what's up. Global Star GSAT shares may move on a report that Apple's iPhone 13 will use satellite connectivity so users can make calls and texts in areas without cellular coverage. The iPhone 13 is expected to use low Earth orbit LEO satellite connectivity to areas that don't have 4G or 5G cellular coverage. According to a Mac Rumors, shh, rumor has it, report earlier, which cited expert Apple analyst Ming Chi Kuo of TF International Securities. The iPhone 13 reportedly features a Qualcomm X60 chip that supports satellite communications, according to Mac Rumors, which cited a copy of Kuo's noted that was sent to investors. While SpaceX Starlink is a LEO satellite communications provider, Apple is most likely to use Global Star, according to Quo. The simplest scenario for providing LEO connectivity is if network operators work with Global Star. Global Star short interest is 8.6% of float. And Global Star gains as B Riley starts a buy rating, seeing 152% upside, which you already know about it because we covered it like seriously on June 21st. On June 24th, Elon Musk Starlink won't go public for a few years, but Tesla's investors could access IPO. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. We've been covering USAT for a little bit. And I don't know, man. I don't know. We don't do analysis. We don't review the news. No, we don't. We we don't provide signals, okay? Not a financial advisor. I don't provide signals. I'm not a guru. No, 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 no. Dude, I don't sell a course. No, no. We, this is a community of investors, retail investors that love to share their idea. Guys, dudes, dudettes, hey, chewies, chewettes, are you seeing what I'm seeing? From 143, GSAT has gone up to $1.92. Indeed, I sure you can, my friends. Last week we closed bullish and now we're looking very, very good. 192, that's about 35%. And we can still go higher. B. Riley, when we covered it on June 21st, B. Riley said $3.25. Since we've covered, okay? I actually enter once again over here in this area, man. Since we covered, 125% is the range that they that he was looking for. Look at the range we are, we're getting now, 33.5%. This is actually great. And guys, now that I, what I'm starting to see is that all of the noise will start to shape up. Does that make sense? Like there's being a lot of noise spread out and now things are shaping up into a direction and hopefully to get some tangible results. Now, this is starting to look good. Now we need a little bit of more information, more clarity, and hopefully we will get more numbers behind all of this momentum. This is starting to look good for Global Star. First stop for me is 295. After that, 325 should be fine. Long term, there's there could be a lot of potential as well. For example, we can definitely go to 460s. It's a very pl very plausible area. I even see 650s. But for now, let's keep it simple, right? 290s, 290s, and then we can go to that three dollars and twenty-five cents which is uh, B. Riley's target. Man, oh man, and very, very nice. Let me know, my friends, if you capitalize on Global Star. Let me know in the chat room. Let me know in the comment section. And just to give you a little bit of more 
clarity from the perspective that we had. Strong zone, strong zone, bouncing on the 200 EMA. I can even clean this a little bit because we had a lot of support areas. This can be kept simple. There you go. Very nicely done. Look at that beautiful support and resistance, guys. That support, boom. And going back to the resistance. So keep an eye on this one. If there's any pullback, could be a drop opportunity. That's beautiful. Right, Randy? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Randy. Thank you for your support every time, motherfucker. Now let's go ahead from GSAT. What a beautiful thing, guys. GSAT Global Star. Good moves. And with Apple, working with Apple, guys. That's that see when you work with bit is that's you want some consistent move? Big companies, big companies, man. Big companies give you that momentum, they give you the drop opportunities, and you're like, What? Apple dropped? What? Google dropped? And then you're like, Oh, pff, this motherfucker can actually go. Mira, still remember 120s. I said it here, man. I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna buy some Apple. Look at this Apple already 20% up. See that? I'm happy. I'm happy with that 20% there guys i think we can definitely get there patience is the name of the game let me tell you man patience is the name of the game and when we capitalize is when we get draw opportunities that's how it is and finally we're getting some good movement look at that by the way gsat once again let me look at it and see what it's doing two dollars and 38 cents as i said in the beginning we're gonna pull back down a little bit and then move to the upside. We'll see, guys. I like GSAT 325. I like GSAT 325. I mean, I think we can get there. I think we can definitely get there. Holy mafongo, guys. Very, very good moves pre-market. GSA reminds me of MBIS holding GSA for the big payday. My calls just returned 5,000%. 5,000% for the calls. You'll think GSAT is going to keep pushing up? I think it can. I think it can go to 325. I think it can get there, uh, especially with the bullish news that we got. Okay, so what we're getting is not a small news. It's actually big news in my perspective, which is Global Star working with Apple, and we're getting some good returns, $2.33. We did pull back down, and I still think it can pull back down a little bit more, but right now it's very, very bullish, okay? Very, very much so. The big article of the day, Global Star shares jump on report iPhone 13 may use satellite connectivity. And at 8.45, adds Iridium shares, William Blair comments. Okay, so as you can see, iPhone 13 will use satellite connectivity so users can make calls and texts in areas without cellular coverage. That's the big news, okay, not only for USAT but for Apple, okay, both are getting involved in this. But insane return, insane return. You mentioned Sky, motherfuckers. How we're starting this day very, very interesting, huh? Very, very nice. And GSAT, I'm sure it pulled back down. Let's see. There you go. AQST has pulled back down from the highs, from the hype. We gotta, we had to go down. I'm telling you, a lot of investors starting to take a little bit of profit because it took a little bit of time, even though it still can go higher to. B. Riley's target. Today we open at 239 and we went down to two dollars and thirteen cents. And that's the price right now. 10% lower during the opening bell. And by the way, if we go back down, it can go back to 150s. Yeah, it can. It can. That's about 35%, the whole movement. But I'm gonna keep an eye on two dollars. Two dollars could be a good place to just think about the price, you know. Is it a good buy? I think it's, it could be a great buy if it goes low. But a lot of people making some great profits. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and keep on moving forward. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ring the motherfucking bell so you get notified every time we are online. We do the videos con mucho, mucho amor. If you want to become a member, check out the join button below. Like, share, subscribe, motherfuckers. He helps with the algorithm. Right, Randy? Oh, yeah! And as always, have a beautiful morning. Uh,
Shoryuken! Boom shakalaka! Shwak! <laughs> <laughs>